guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. For today's video, I've got a fun, lighthearted video about makeup trends. I wanna talk about some trends that I think we're gonna look back on in a decade or so and kinda of laugh at ourselves. Now this is very lighthearted. I have done every single one of these trends and I actually love most of these trends. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. But I think back, so I'm in my late 20s, and I think back to like makeup styles and hairstyles that I wore as a teen or as a young adult that were really trendy and cool in the moment. But now we look back on it and we're like, why did we do our eyebrows like this? Or like even the scrunched hair of my childhood, like myself with almost straight hair, trying to scrunch it and leave it like crispy with a tiny bit of a wave and then straight bangs. That was really, really cool in the early 2000s, but now I look back and I'm like, that's hilarious that I wore my hair like that. So don't take any of this too seriously, very lighthearted. Like I said, I love all these trends, but I think we're gonna look back and kind of laugh a bit. Starting with a huge trend right now, and it has been pretty big for at least a year now, the feathered brow. We've seen brow trends do like complete 180s in the last few decades. like. Thinking back to late 90s, early 2000s, it was the super, super thin, like non-existent eyebrow. And then in the teens, around like 2015, 2016, we saw the bold, really thick, overdone, very structured Instagram brow. And now it's kind of like we're going the other direction to that very fluffy, undone brow. Now, I do like the effect of like a soap brow when it's done in a subtle way, but we've seen it go to like complete extremes, like eyebrows completely flat down to the face, very, very feathered, which I do think can look really pretty, but I think that that is a trend that we're gonna look back on and be like, why were we using soap? hair gel to glue our eyebrows flat and like sticking straight up. What I have come to realize about brows, as a participant in the very thin brows, the Instagram brows and the feather brows, I've just come to the conclusion that most people look best with an eyebrow shape that is very similar to their natural brow. And I feel this way about pretty much anything. Someone that naturally has very thick, very full brows is probably gonna look really great with that brow. It's gonna match their face, it's gonna flatter their face. As someone with very little brow hair naturally, my brows are naturally very thin, when I really fill them in and try to go for that feathered look, it's just not balanced with my face. And I see photos of myself, I'm gonna roast myself a lot in this video, but photos of myself even a year or two ago when I would fill my brows in to be so much thicker than they naturally were. And I don't think it looked terrible, but it just was not balanced with my face. And I have come to accept that with my face shape, I like a little bit more of an arch, even if that's not what's trendy right now. I know it's the very like flat, upturned brows. That's okay, it doesn't work for my face shape, that is fine and I like a thinner brow. It balances out my face a bit better because my natural brows are just pretty thin on their own. However, my prediction, I feel like a lot of people might not feel me on this one, but I do think the 90s, early 2000s brow is gonna be back pretty soon. And I don't mean quite as thin as we were wearing it back then, but something maybe more like this. I feel like this might be the next style of brow to become quote unquote trendy. Heavy blush slash blush on the nose. So again, this is something we've seen a complete 180 from because even a decade or two ago, we were seeing very, very minimal blush being worn, I mean, even skipped in a lot of cases. And now it's the very heavy blush. And you know what I think is funny? People love to joke about 80s makeup but many of our current makeup trends are heavily inspired by 80s makeup and I love it. So that heavier blush look and also changing the placement of blush. We used to see blush being worn kind of more like here on the apples. Now it's very trendy to have your blush more so up here, really lifting the face, kind of applying blush where we previously were wearing highlighter. And what we've seen is the very heavy like nose blush that almost looks like you've been standing outside in the cold. It's a very like youthful look with all these trends. I'm not ragging on it. I just think we're gonna look back and kind of laugh that we put so much blush on our nose, like almost more than we're putting on our cheeks, just like fake freckles. 
This is one that makes me laugh as a person with freckles, but I find that a lot of times it's really hard to do fake freckles that don't look fake because I often see it being worn with a full face of foundation, heavy full coverage foundation, and then the freckles drawn on. And that contrast between full coverage and trying to look like light coverage where the freckles are, I think can be a bit too much and it's hard to find the right balance. I do think faux freckles can be done very well, but I also think they can just look like polka dots on the face, which again, might be the look you're going for and sometimes that's cute. Makeup doesn't have to look natural. Maybe you don't want your faux freckles to look natural. Maybe you don't want people to think they're real freckles. Maybe that's just the fun of it, drawing the dots on your face. I'm not against it. I just think in a decade or two, we're gonna look back and kind of laugh about drawing freckles on. But do you know what I think actually is nice? Drawing freckles and beauty marks back in when you have them. That's something that I think is timeless and beautiful because when we're wearing foundation, a lot of times our natural freckles get covered up. So I have a freckle right here. I've got one down here. I mean, I've got freckles, freckles, but I guess I more mean like beauty marks moles, whatever you want to call them. And taking a freckle pen and drawing that back on is a great way to make your makeup look a bit more natural, like you have that skin coming through. So that is a trend that I love. I'm really guilty of this next one. I have no shame. I love this trend. Inner corner pop of color. So I'm going to pop up a photo of me wearing this where I did like a blue inner corner. I love it. I love a green inner corner, a blue inner corner, like light pastel shades, I think can look so much fun on the inner corner. I think it's an easy way to incorporate color and still have a semi-neutral look going on. But I also think maybe in around 2030, we'll look back on these looks and think, yeah, that was a very like 2020, 2021 type of look. I don't think we'll still be wearing those a decade from now. Inner corner eyeliner. So this I have seen blow up in the last year with the very lifted eye being a really popular shape to try to achieve. A lot of people are starting to do inner corner eyeliner that's a little more downturned to give the effect of a lifted eye. Now I think in a very subtle way when done with a little bit of brown liner and very minimal, it's a beautiful effect. But I've seen it go to the extreme where there's a liner on the outer corner, nothing on the middle of the eye, and then the inner corner has the liner. And personally, I just find it to have too much contrast with the absence of liner throughout the eye it's just too noticeable with the really chunky inner corner liner happening there so i think that particular style again we won't be seeing a decade from now it's one of those looks that we will look back on and be like yeah that was the way we were all not all but many people were wearing their eyeliner in like the early 20s which is so weird to say the 20s it's so funny how makeup trends come back around. Like I said, I think many of our current makeup trends are very influenced by the 80s. I'm saying makeup trends, fashion, hair, everything. But I've also seen a big influence from the 60s with maybe this style of makeup right here with kind of like one color on the lid, a matte look, maybe some graphic liner going on there. And a lot of what we talked about today, I think we're gonna look back on 20, 30 years from now and think, yeah, that was what was really big back in the 20s. Those are very like 2020s style techniques. So again, this is very lighthearted. Don't take any of this too seriously. I have done every single one of these trends. I will probably continue to use these. No negative intent here is just kind of, you know, laughing at ourselves. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you are new here, I upload Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern. I would love for you to subscribe and I'll go ahead and see you in my next one. Bye.